In a world where someone has the hubris to make a three-hour film with no story. Sheer f***ing hubris. Where they have the audacity to make it a four-part series. The impudent! The audacity! The unmitigated gall! With amazing dialogue only comparable to The Room. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. This summer, one film will seek to liquefy your brain with endless boredom and sheer cringe. Horizon, an American saga. God help us all. <laughs> what a story, Mark. Now, when I first saw the trailer for Horizon, an American saga, I was intrigued for mainly two reasons. One, because of this. Did cowboys push kick each other? I mean, I don't, I, I don't see why they couldn't. I've just never seen a cowboy do it in a Western before, let alone twice in one trailer. Weird. And two, which is the main reason I went to go see this movie, is that it is the first of a four part series. Which is already a pretty bold move, making a 12-hour movie and expecting the audience to come to the theaters four separate times to see it all. But the second movie, part two, doesn't come out next year. No, no, no. It comes out less than two months later. What? I don't think that has ever been done before. And once I learned that, I had to go see it out of sheer curiosity and well i think the old woman who sat next to me summed up this movie the best when the movie ended and the credits started rolling she immediately said well that was a whole lot of something with no story and before i continue let me be absolutely clear i am not exaggerating nor am I using flowery language when I say this is one of the worst movies I have ever had the misfortune of seeing. We're talking the room levels of bad here. I am not kidding. This movie has no plot, no story, no character development. It's just three hours of random things happening following hundreds of people, most of which are only on screen for 10 minutes, never to be seen again. The dialogue is clunky, awkward, and cringy, but worst of all, it's pointless with no direction. The acting ranges from talented veterans all the way down to, well, this level of acting. One of them found out about it, beat her up so bad she ended up in a hospital on Guerrero Street. <laughs> What a story, Mark. The music is bad and out of place. The dramatic moments are so shallow and empty, they're laughable. This film is so awkward and janky, it felt like I was watching an elementary school play. But worst of all, it is so boring because nothing happens in this movie. So no need to worry about spoilers in this review. I couldn't even spoil it if I wanted to because there is nothing to spoil because there is no plot in this movie. So here are my scores. For my highbrow critic score, it's a 2 out of 10, purely because you still get credit for spelling your name right on the test. And for my Schmo score, the score for the average Joe Schmo, I give Horizon a 0 out of 10. There is nothing here for you. And I know this because about halfway through the film, a man fell asleep and started snoring super loudly and everyone laughed. And the reason I know this happened halfway through the film was because I looked at my clock at this moment, which I assume many of the other audience members must have done too, because half of the theater got up and left at this moment. I am not joking. They must have seen that they had another hour and a half to go and went, 
Oh, hell no. And they left. And I wish I could have gone with them. But someone always has to go down with the ship. I suffer for you. I have racked my brain for three days now about this, trying to figure out how to articulate what this film is. And I have come to the conclusion that Horizon, an American Saga, part one, is not a movie. Just because you film something, even if it's hours of something, a movie it doth not make. Due to the lack of plot, narrative, or any effective character development, I cannot call this a movie. It's like imagine if someone took a bunch of movies, bad movies, then cut out various clips from them, then randomly spliced those clips together and called it a movie. No, you don't get to do that. This thing is so bad, it has broken my brain. I don't even know how to describe this to you other than making a small list of things I can kind of wrap my head around. And I know that's not great, but <laughs> I'm kind of losing my mind here, guys. No narrative, no dramatic payoffs. So Horizon, from the very beginning, tries to have these big dramatic moments with big swirling music and big set pieces. But because there was no plot or narrative that got us to this moment, all the scenes fall flat and feel shallow and empty and so painfully cringe. I have never felt so much secondhand embarrassment while watching a movie before. All the big dramatic moments suck because you didn't put in the work to get us there. On top of that, we met these characters like five minutes ago. Why would we care? We don't know anything about them. I don't even know their names. I swear, like 60% of the characters in this didn't even have names. Let me describe one of these scenes for you, and I'm only going to do one because it's just too painful to relive more than one. So, in the opening, a settlement is being raided by some Native Americans, and they are brutally killing everyone, especially the babies. So, there's this old man with a violin, and he gets shot by two arrows within like a half a second by one bowman. Seriously, this guy would put Legolas to shame. So the old man is dying, and the guy who shot him walks up to take his violin away. But the old man is like, no, I may be dying, but you can't stop my music. So they struggle for the violin for way too long. Until the bowman finally stops looks down at the violin, then looks at the old man, and gives him the old head nod of respect. What? No, please stop. And you would think that's where the scene has to end, right? Well, you'd be wrong. Because the bowman lets the violin go, and the old man falls down, and then he takes like 10 steps away from the old man, stops, does a slow dramatic head turn, looks at the old man dying, and gives him another head nod of respect. Kill me. Kill me now. And that's what Horizon is. A random collection of cringy scenes like that. And the scenes get so much more cringy than that. Dialogue. A time waster. So I referenced The Room earlier because Horizon has a lot in common with it. For example, in The Room, there are many scenes that have no point to them. They don't add anything to the story, they're just there to fill time. Here you go. That's me. How much is it? It'll be $18. Here you go, keep the change. Hi, doggy. You're my favorite customer. Thanks a lot, bye. And Horizon, because it has no story, all the scenes feel like this because they ultimately have no point or reason to exist at all. 
For example, there's like a five minute scene of four farmers talking about plants and seeds and soil moisture. Do we see these four men ever again in the next three hours? Nope. Do we ever see anyone planting seeds or tending crops? No. Then why did you make us watch four men talk about dirt for five minutes? This is what Horizon is. Just three hours of this. The acting. Whiplash. Horizon has a lot of talented actors in it. But it also has a lot of people in it who have clearly never acted a day in their lives. I'm talking this level of acting. We get it within three months. I say them bundles. They're crazy. I don't think I will ever get it. Not that it even matters because the dialogue is so bad. Not even the veteran actors can make it sound good. And then you also have a weird use of terminology that didn't exist. Like some people call the Native Americans, you know, savages or Indians, which is what you would expect. But then other people are like, you mean the indigenous people? What is this? I can't. I'm done. I'm, I'm done with this list. I can't even. I was going to say the music is very inappropriate and does not match the visuals. Oh, and you know a woman is going to be important if she looks like a supermodel. The difference in attractiveness between the actors is so jarring. And on top of that, they are always the only ones who never have any dirt on them. Unless, of course, the scene temporarily calls for it. Otherwise, they are always perfectly kept and pristine, unlike all the other dirt monsters. And the racism is just confusing. Because this takes place during the Civil War, which they mention that fact. But then they'll have black settler families that are treated just like everyone else. So I was like, oh, they're sanitizing history to make the film more palatable for modern audiences, I guess. But then they'll be super racist to Mexicans. Where am I? I think I'm having a stroke. I don't want to be here. I just want to go. I just want to go. It's almost 4th of July. I just want to eat some dogs, drink beer, and scorch my corneas staring at explosions in the night sky. Okay? We're done. Whatever you do this 4th, for the love of God, do not see Horizon, an American Saga Part 1. You can't handle it. Anyways, I I'm done. I'm gonna go dunk my head in some water and scream. You all have a nice day, and I'll catch ya at the next one.